god morning everybody it's me again crazy bag lady it's monday morning it's half past seven in the morning it's the first day back at school can you hear the weather oh, you couldn't make it up could you <laughs> i mean who wants to go out in this <laughs> It's horrible. You think, oh, why couldn't we have had one more day at home and not have to go out in this? Look at it. <laughs> it's revolting. It's really windy and it's pouring with rain and it's just absolutely vile. You cannot believe it's the same sort of. Well, it, just yesterday we were outside washing cars and then look at this. What a day. Anyway, what a beautiful Monday morning. So. <laughs> Good morning. Right, so I've done all my makeup. I've half done my hair. Um, I can't make up my mind whether to gel it flat or have it down. Not sure yet. Right, weather. It's literally like we've had two days already in one day. So now the sun has come out and it's starting to dry up. This weather is totally bonkers. Morning, Flora. Me, Pat Peggy. Who else have we got? Bubba. Um, little positive potato. I hope you're all doing okay. Don't forget it's Monday, which always makes us feel a bit, ugh. Ooh. <laughs> um, but we're not going to feel like that today. So today we're going to be positive Monday. Yay! So let's hope we all have a really good Monday. So, calendar of the day. We've got good morning. Yes, good morning, everybody. Right, so uh, what have we got? Lovely Chanel's Pocket Wisdom. Uh, pride is present in whatever I do. It is the secret of my strength. It is both my flaw and my virtue. Mm. Black cab wisdom. We've got make every destination as if you know it to be right. You are not only responsible for the things you do. You are also responsible for the things you don't do. And a moment of action is worth more than a year of thought. Oh, so this week we've got loads of appointments again. So today's appointment is my nails, da -la -la -la, which to some people is an absolute luxury and you think, oh, that's amazing, how lucky. But someone that suffers with anxiety and sits there panicking and like really doesn't want to go, but does want to go, it's not the best. Uh, which if you suffer from anxiety, you'll totally understand where I'm coming from. If you don't, you'll think I'm absolutely bonkers. Um, so I'm going to have my infills done. So as you can see, they've grown up quite a bit um and they are sort of desperate for doing before the fall off um so we're going there this morning um what else have i got to do drop a parcel off fetch my neighbor's paper and then all the other boring jobs as well so that's one appointment today that we've got to to go to i was going to cancel it and thought oh just let your nails grow back to normal and then i thought are you doing it because of your anxiety or are you doing it because you really don't want to have long nails anymore and if i cancelled it it would be because of my anxiety so i thought i'm not going to let anxiety win and we are going to get my nails done right so happy monday morning breakfast so breakfast this morning we've got one shredded wheat uh, pulled apart with some blueberries and i've got a little brown plate for my friends Right, are you ready, ladies? One, are you ready, Dolly? Two, there you go. Winnie Fred, are you coming? <laughs> Come on, Winnie. <laughs> I can't believe the weather is now so different to what it was when we got up. It's absolutely crazy. I honestly can't believe it, and you don't know what the heck to wear. Like, you don't be too hot, but then also it's, it's a bit cold on the radio. No, oh, it's like a different day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame you, Winifred. You keep them little eyes closed. <laughs> right, boring job. So it's near quarter past nine. We need to leave about half past nine because my appointment's at ten o'clock. It's quite early for a nail appointment. I'd rather have an afternoon appointment, but never mind. Uh, right, so we need to put the pots into soak um, and clean my glasses. Got to clean my glasses so I can see what I'm doing. Here we are. Oh, I've got such a flap on. You know, like, I was like, I don't know what to wear. I didn't know what to do with my hair. It looks like it's going to rain again. So I've my hair down. And then I thought, oh, if it rains, it's just going to get so. So I've slapped it back again. So lipstick of the day say so is Avon Power Stay Lip Colour in Can't Quit Cafe. My favourite nude. Thought it was a bit early for red. Fancied a bit red, but I thought it was a bit early. Look at the blue sky. It's absolutely crazy. But yeah, over there, it's really black. And I really don't know if I'm too hot or not. 
that I've got myself in a flap. I'm flapping. Anyway, happy flappy Monday. Hmm. Look at the sky. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, I was about to leave. I think I might wait a minute. Oh, look at it again. I can hear it. It's blowing this way, I think. I can hear it hitting the door. Oh, I don't want to go out in this. Look at it. What a day. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. The only coat I've got with the hood. Oh, right, let's go. Right, I've made it into the car. So, away we go on this beautiful morning. Right, we've made it here. It's showing four and a half degrees. Oh, how chilly is that? So I've got a little umbrella. I don't really want to carry an umbrella with me, but if uh, I need to use it, I can do. So I think it might fit in my pocket. I feel my teeth chattering. Oh, so many shops closed. Um, I was gonna go in cherry shop because normally Ian works on a Monday, but it was all shut. I didn't realize it was shut. I was looking in the window and I went to the door. I was like, Oh, I can't get in. Anyway, I've had my day off done. I've been there quite a long time because I've picked a bit of a fussy design. Um, and it took her quite a while to do because she had to draw the little hearts on and stuff. And I just wanted something a bit different, and I really like them. Let me just spin them around. Hang on. Look. So it's like a dark colour on my little finger and my thumb and then it's neutral and then you've got like those three little bits. Obviously she had to do them by hand so it was quite difficult for her. Um, but yeah, it's cool. <laughs> a bit different. Right, so it's only um, 11 o'clock. Um, so we're going to go home and it's just so cold. Oh, and I forgot to say, uh, when I got here and I put my car park ticket in, it only showed one hour. So you normally get two hours free. Um, and I couldn't understand why it only showed I got an hour. So I actually rang them up, the helpline, and they were like, yeah, we've changed it now. You only get one hour free. And after that, you have to pay. Um, but it only came into effect today. So they said that I'd be all right to park for two hours for free. But I can't believe it. You know, they're trying to encourage people to come to shops. And now they're only giving you one hour's free parking instead of two. It's so sad. Honestly, it's like they don't want people to come out anymore. Anyway, so from now on, we'll have to pay if we want longer than an hour to park here. Oh, and the time, it's just clicked on 11.11. 11, 11, 11, 11. Make a wish, my darlings. Right, I've made it home. I've got been and fetched my neighbour's paper from the shop and she's tried to ring me, left me like a waffled answer message, something about can't get through to the doctor. So I'm just going to knit around and see her and make sure she's all right. So let's go. Right, 
right, finally made it home. So I sorted my neighbour out, got to drop her prescription off for her. Um, and it's five past 12. Right, super fast dinner because we're gonna nip and see my mum if I hurry up. So I'm gonna eat this soup as fast as I can um, and then we'll dash across to see my mum. Oh, I've never eaten soup so fast. Right, so we're in the car. I'm taking Florence to see my mum. Florence is very old, aren't you, darling? Hey, let's go and see your grandma. Oh, We've arrived at my mum's. First thing little Florence does, she knows where the treats are, look. Yes, <laughs> well, we were going to sit in here, but it's too cold. Too cold, isn't it, mother? You have to get on your exercise bike. Oh, yeah, that's like when I had that cross trainer, yeah, it hurt my blooming hip. Yeah. Oh, this hip is yeah. Oh, look at my mum's garden. She's it's been very busy. Near the bird uh, feeder, what I was doing yesterday, that was a bit there. It's all the weeds. Yeah, well, we've been discussing weeds. I've my garden's full of weeds. Look at my mum, she's put me to shame. <laughs> we've come outside for one minute, but not only for a minute, because it's freezing. <laughs> the wind, the wind is so cold, isn't it? drink Florence <laughs> my mum's given her a chicken stick thing she's very busy look <laughs> my mum's found <laughs> my mum's got a very inspirational book it's called Tea yes. Flutter <laughs> I, I opened that thought what's it doing here I didn't do perhaps it was a present from somebody well, we're in my mum's pantry oh, looking God. for something that's not right. happening. <laughs> Keep looking if there's any of that rice oil, Jane, because yeah, I'll... I will. A bit of ginger cake in there. Bit of salmon. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> we found these in my mum's cupboard. So we've got one little chocolate biscuit yes. and a coffee. Give me tulip, tulip, tulip mug. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right, my mum's been very busy because people always ask me what you've been making. So this, this yeah, so this time it's not crafting. Yeah. She's bought some black trousers. They were fitted nice on the bottom and round the middle, but they were a bit tight on her legs. So dun, dun, dun. they're not finished. She's got to do no, the hems. Um, but she's put fancy sides in them. Look at these. Oh, they're cool. I like them. And, and I've, I've tried them with, with trainers. Yeah. I've got to get them because I've got to turn up that much. Yes. You know, and uh, yeah, they were. Yeah, very smart. impressive. Very impressive. Mine were not coming no. foreign fashion. I right. just liked it. I was telling my mum <laughs> how flowery coats are now in fashion. So she's brought me upstairs and look what she's bought. <laughs> A dedicated follower of fashion. <laughs> Mother, she's ahead of all of us. I was thinking about getting a flowery jacket. My mum's already been out and got one. Look at this. I didn't know it was fashion. I liked it because yeah. I thought I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I matched the bloody wallpaper. <laughs> We're admiring my mum's wallpaper. Isn't it lovely? Laura Ashley. Love Laura Ashley. So beautiful. Oh, the rain has followed us. It's raining. <laughs> Bloody weather. It's horrible. Yeah, no, it didn't have any rain on the way here. We're now in ages ago. We're now in my mum's wardrobe. We've had a bit, very busy couple of hours. I think we did. Yeah, we must have really liked it. It's because it's pink. <laughs> and it used to sing and it sits and she in my mum's does, wardrobe. But there's, no, there's no battery in it. It just took the battery out. Flaps its arm, doesn't it? It makes yeah, you happy, you sing? It? See, we all need a little bit of pink in our lives. You don't realise, do you? Do, yes. <laughs> makes you smile, doesn't it? It does, definitely. Better than grey. Oh, dear. Yeah, <laughs> nice to have a bit of colour. It is, it's uplifting, mm. isn't it? Florence, we've got to go now. Oh, she's <laughs> turning her back I on know. the door. She's she? like, I'm not coming, look. I'm going under here. <laughs> you get dusty under there. Was it dust? <laughs> it wafts, you know doesn't it? It wafts across the floor. <laughs> right. So it's a goodbye from my mum. Goodbye and hello to everyone. Hope you're all happy and you know what what life's about. Just take one day at a time, as I said before. Yeah, a lot of yeah. people live by your motto, you know. Oh, you want to. Mm. 
Yeah, it's just life, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. one day at a time. Yes, it is, isn't it? So we'll see you very soon, my darling. Yes, take care, Bye. everyone. Bye. Right, we've made it home. It's so windy. Been blown to pieces, haven't we, Florence? Right, so I just need to nip and drop my neighbour's prescription off at the doctor's. I thought, well, we can park right outside so Florence will be right in the car. So let's go post the prescription. Ruby will be back in a minute. Ruby decides she wanted to walk, even though um, it's really windy. Hmm. And I'm not sure why there's a random plant pot in my garden. That is my plant pot, but it was over there. So I'm wondering if the wind has moved it, but why would it still be upright? That's really weird. Right, finally got the kettle on. Moving the pot back where it should be in my garden. <laughs> the wind is causing chaos. I keep looking at the window thinking I've still got a fence. Anyway, let's get ourselves a nice cup of coffee. Well, I'm sat here on my bum doing nothing. <laughs> the lasagna is in the oven. So I've washed up, I've emptied the dishwasher because uh, I left them all in to soak this morning when I dashed off to the nail place. Um, so I've done all that and now I'm just waiting for the lasagna to cook and it's lovely when the sun comes out because it warms up my conservatory, it's really cosy and nice. And when it's sat here snoring, this is making me really tired because I'm sat here and all can hear when he's snuffling noises. And again, when the sun warms the rug up, it's lovely. Oh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is my tea. So I've got lovely Tesco lasagna, so I've had a quarter of that. Two slices of Tesco Ciabetta garlic bread, which I've allowed my calories enough to have that. And some salad. Off to enjoy it. And, because there's only me and Ruby here, I'm sat in front of the TV with my dinner. I've put the fire on because it's blooming freezing. And we'll see if we can find something good to watch on telly while we're having the tea. <laughs> Ooh, my tea was lovely. It was really nice with that little bit of garlic bread. It was just the right amount. It was lovely. Right. Florence, no, that's not yours, darling. Come on. <laughs> it's not yours, you know it's not yours. <laughs> Ready for it? <laughs> right, are you ready? Go! Don't, oh, careful. <laughs> you Wally, you ran into the chair leg. Right, hang on. Look, you've chucked some of your breakfast down here. Right, there you go. I can't believe you ran into the chair leg. Ooh. And it's still windy. Oh, and it's so cold. Honestly, it's so chilly. Mm. And I've been hearing on the news, we've had, or there's been one, uh, like a mini tornado around here. Uh, luckily, it didn't fetch my area, but it wasn't that far away. And you think, oh, wow, it's so bad. It ripped, like, roof tiles off and trees came up and we really have been battered around here today it's been absolutely awful and winifred i feel like we've not really seen you much today have we because obviously we dashed off to the nail place then we came back and then we disappeared to grandma's and and you were just waiting here for me wasn't you have you had a lovely relaxing day oh i know i think we all feel like that I, poor room's worn out uh we're all very tired my poor husband's been up to scotland and he's not back yet either it's horrible, isn't it? Roll on the warmer days. So it is. I'm going to love you and leave you. So many thanks if you've been there with me today. Thank you so much. The winner of my carrots has still not contacted me. So if you won the carrots, send me an email so that I can get your little carrots sent off to you. So many thanks for being there with me today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Obviously, we've seen my mum, bless her. So if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dog I've got Instagram to sweet fluffles. My website is down below, and my little Avon shop is also down below. I'm so scared of all these trees. I can see them going. Oh, I hope it calms down soon, and I hope you've all stayed safe. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.